what do you see as the differences that in your in a, in a coach's approach? In a coach's approach, um, uh, probably a couple of things that stand out for me. One is the way that you communicate with with female players, and the manner in which you communicate with them is how I guess I've traditionally been brought up coaching in a men's environment, and that. Um, <clears throat> the cursing and swearing at them won't work. <clears throat> uh, might work with the men. The men will be angry for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and then it's forgotten about and they go on with the next job. Whereas if you if you approach women the wrong way, then you're going to have to unravel that for maybe a few practice sessions before they come round. And <clears throat> so I think I think it's important that that you you appreciate how they respond to pressure and they respond to, to criticism um, and you have to, in my experience, you have to approach it in a quite different way than you do from men. Um, the other big big aspect <clears throat> working with, with women players is the social aspect that they, they feel that the, the, the bond of the team is really important to them and if that's fractured in any way and again if we go back to the the point you were making about with having players based abroad that has been an issue for us with the national team program that when players who have been playing or contracted to play abroad have come back and they've come into the group <clears throat> because if not over the preceding months then it creates a bit of a social imbalance <clears throat> Uh, and the dynamic suddenly changes, and, and it's something you have to manage. Uh, I, I, my experience of working with men is is that that isn't the case as much. I'm not saying it isn't a factor, but it isn't this case a case as much in, in, in the men. <laughs> because the social aspect of it is is really important to them, and that that in some ways causes a slight a slight dilemma when you're talking about performance. Because in order to perform, <clears throat> you you need to make commitments and you need to push and you need to go to a, you need to do things that you don't normally do, and that that probably puts the social aspects slightly further down the pecking order, and that's uh, that's an area I've found over the last four to five years with the current program that as we become more professional with a small p, then <clears throat> the social aspect has been eroded a wee bit and some of the players find that very difficult to handle because it's what's really important to them and <clears throat> I think we've been fortunate with having three or four players that have been, been, been at a much higher level that we've been able to manage it but it, it, is, a, it is an issue and you know, I, I, I know that coming out of this most recent cycle that we're probably going to lose some players who've made a decision that it's no longer fun anymore and it's too serious and that social aspect has gone so as I say that, that communication component and the, and the social aspect are the, probably the two key parts that I, I see being quite different between the men's game and the women's game.